Okay, in this uh, recording, what we are going to do is that uh, we are uh, going to derive normal equations for this particular model. We have the model yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. This is the model which we have. Now, when we estimate this model, what we get is yi hat equals to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi. An estimate of residual would be ui hat equals to yi minus yi hat. In OLS, what we try to do is, that is ordinary least squares, first of all, we'll square these residuals, yi minus yi hat square, and then we sum them over. Well, why do we do that? We'll be talking about it in some of the other recording, but this is just the mathematical formulation of these normal equations. How do you derive these estimates? So you can write summation of ui hat square is equal to summation of yi minus, what is yi hat? Beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi. So it becomes beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi square. Clear? Now what you have to do is that, sorry, this is ui hat square you will partially differentiate partially differentiate this equation say 1 with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat this is what you need to find out you need to get an estimate of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat so what will you do is that you will partially differentiate this with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. So what will you do is, that is del of summation ui hat square upon del beta 1 hat will give you what? 2 into summation of yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi into minus 1 equal to 0. Okay, why 2? Because this 2 will come here when you differentiate it. And why minus 1? Because of this minus sign with beta 1 hat. So, and then you will also differentiate it along with beta 2 hat, which is, uh, I'm sorry, which is del of summation ui hat square upon del beta 2 hat will be 2 summation yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi into minus xi equal to 0. Clear? So this is what you will be getting. Uh, now let us simplify these uh, two equations and what will you be getting is that uh, you can get away with this one, you can get away with this two because they'll all go to this side of zero. Again, you can get away with this two and you can get away with this minus sign here. So what you'll be getting is summation yi minus beta one hat minus beta two hat xi equal to zero. This is what you will be getting. And secondly, you will be getting here summation yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta, beta 2 hat xi into xi equal to 0. This is what you will be getting. Now, if you sum both the sides, huh? If you sum both the sides, this, in case if you put the summation sign, what will you be getting is for the first part, just have a look at this. For the first part, I'm writing it here. It is summation yi minus 
n beta 1 hat okay beta 1 hat is a constant and in case if you sum this over n observations what you'll be getting is n beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat will come out of the summation sign it being a constant xi equal to 0 oversimplifying it taking beta 1 hat beta 2 hat terms on the other side of the equation what you'll be getting is n beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat summation xi equals to summation yi now let us look at how do you simplify this second equation you'll be getting summation yi xi minus beta 1 hat summation xi minus beta 2 hat summation xi square equal to 0. In case if you oversimplify this, what you'll be getting is taking the terms of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat on the one side and the term without that on the other side of the equation, you'll be getting beta 1 hat summation xi plus beta 2 hat summation xi square equals to summation yi xi clear now you can put these two equations let us term this equation 2 and let us term this equation 3 fine so you can put these two equations in Kramer's rule uh, sorry in, in matrix form using Kramer's rule Kramer's rule okay first of all I have to put that into I have to put that into matrix form what you'll be getting is so n summation xi summation xi summation xi square into beta 1 hat into beta 2 hat summation yi summation yi xi clear now you know this what I have done huh what I have done is that uh, I have put in the co this is the coefficient matrix for this part of the system of equation for the left hand side part of the system of equation and I have put the coefficients which I have to the, the parameters which I have to estimate in the, into this column matrix okay now Kramer's rule tells you what well it tells you in case if you want to estimate beta 1 hat okay you will superimpose this column matrix on the first column of this coefficient matrix you getting the point in case if you want to estimate the first parameter what you will do is that you will superimpose this column matrix on to this part of the first column of this coefficient matrix so what will you get is you will have to find out the determinant of summation yi summation yi xi summation xi summation xi square upon n summation xi just um, you you will just find out the determinant of this coefficient matrix the, the denominator is going to remain same summation xi into summation xi square what you'll be getting is basically what you'll be getting is basically summation yi into summation xi square minus summation xi into summation yi xi divided by n summation xi square minus summation xi whole square clear we'll simplify these beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat later on but and for beta 2 hat what will you do for beta 2 hat you will superimpose this column matrix into the second column of this coefficient matrix and what will it become it will become let me just put it this way it is 
the first column will remain same and summation xi the second column will change to summation yi sorry summation yi summation yi xi determinant it is being divided by the determinant of the coefficient matrix which will remain same this is n summation xi into summation xi summation xi square so if you simplify this you'll be getting n summation yi xi minus summation yi into summation xi upon n summation xi square minus summation xi whole square clear so this is what you'll be getting in case if you divide uh, numerator denominator by n of the, of this beta 2 hat what you'll be getting is summation yi xi minus summation yi into summation xi divided by n divided by summation xi square minus <clears throat> summation xi whole square divided by n clear so this is your beta 2 hat we'll simplify these beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat in the next recording but but these this is the derivation of your normal equations and how do you derive beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat under simple linear regression model thanks